Welcome back, it is great to see you guys again. So I happen to have a little bit of an issue. I have this bolognese sauce, but nothing to eat it with. So I thought I'd whip up some pasta and some garlic bread and take you guys along for the ride. Now let's get it. So to get this garlic bread going, all we have to do is comfy a head of garlic. The way that we do that is by chopping the top off and then putting it in a little ramekin with a little bit of salt. And then I like to do about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Some people like to completely submerge it, but personally, I think that's kind of a waste of oil. So after that, all you want to do is put it in a 400 degree oven for about a half an hour, but periodically check on it. All we're going to do is just get that pasta going. All we need is a cup of flour, three eggs, and a little bit of salt. So I like to get my flour down like so, and then just leave a little divot in here for your eggs. I always like to do two eggs and one yolk, salt, and then start to whisk the eggs and slowly start to incorporate the flour. You are gonna get a little bit of a workout with this one, but I promise you it's completely worth it. Sure, you can go buy pasta at the store for $2, but you know what? I honestly am gonna start doing this from now on because the taste really is that much better. After you knead it for about 10 minutes, you're gonna get a beautiful little dough ball like this. Just wrap it up and make sure it's nice and happy. Set it aside for about a half an hour. Luckily, by the time you're done with that, your garlic confit should be done. What we need to do now is incorporate that garlic with the butter. My favorite way of doing this is the mortar and pestle, but you can really do it however you want. I've even done it by hand before, but it is not the cleanest way, so I wouldn't recommend it. After it's nice and combined, you can really just put it in a bowl and then set it in the fridge and use it for anything. I love using it for garlic bread, but it is really dangerous because once it's in the fridge, it is not in there for long. After you get that put away, we can start to roll out our pasta dough. You wanna just get it in a flat sheet. I always cheat and use a pasta maker. You don't have to, but I just like the consistency that it gives. If you wanna just roll it all by hand, feel more than free. But after I run it through the pasta maker, I have these beautiful sheets right here, and then all we have to do is just cut them up. I always like my noodles to be on the longer side. You can make them however you want. So after I cut my pasta sheets, all I'm gonna do is just put away my extra pasta and then use it as my lunch tomorrow. Not only do you get noodles that are absolutely amazing, but you also get some leftovers. And for one cup of flour, you get a surprising amount of noodles. So if you haven't tried it, I recommend you at least try it once. We put those in the fridge with the noodles that we do have left. We're just going to throw those in some boiling water while we butter up our toast. Just warning you, homemade noodles do cook a lot quicker than like boxed ones do. So you are going to want to keep an eye on them. But besides that, you basically just want to get a skillet at pretty decent heat. I like to say about medium. Just slap those puppies on there and I always like to put a weight on them. You don't have to use one like mine. You can always just use a plate and the two liter is a really good DIY one. But again, anything that works, you just wanna make sure not to cover them too much just because you want there to be a place for that air to escape. After about three minutes on there, all you wanna do is just look down and see that perfection right there. If you start to see that garlic pieces come off, all you have to do is just firmly press against the garlic piece and then just slowly move it around. And then it'll make sure that everything sticks on there. Once that's done, we just take those off and put them to the side. Left is to combine everything and make our beautiful lunch. I just had this sitting in the oven while we were letting everything else cook. May have overcooked it a little bit, but it still tasted good, so I'm not too mad at myself. But there we go. All we gotta do is just a couple scoops of the sauce and then a little bit of Parmesan on top, which is why I didn't put any on the bread. I know too much cheese never hurts, but I already have enough butter on there. That's kind of like putting a hat on a hat. Beautiful. Now we have this amazing lunch and thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.